I want to be really clear for colleagues and the communities across Greater Manchester, there were no incidents of disorder or rioting in any parts of Greater Manchester over the last 24 hours. I think we're all very much aware of the events that unfolded in the capital and in other cities across the country. But within Greater Manchester, despite significant rumour and speculation on networking sites, there were actually no incidents of disorder. I think there were, there were two issues particularly of concern to myself from that last night. One was a, a small number of sites uh, activated and websites looking at inciting disorder and encouraging people to commit disorder within Greater Manchester, uh, which is a criminal act which we'll be looking to enforce. Uh, but also the spreading of gossip and speculation that unnerves our communities and reduces confidence, uh, which is absolutely critical to dealing with these threats. I'd really encourage people to visit the GMP Police Twitter feed and the website uh, and particularly the YouTube feeds because we'll be giving regular updates on what's actually taking place within Greater Manchester and any issues as they occur. Well, the events over the past uh, days within Greater Manchester, we've been planning and preparing by increasing our resources on the ground, uh, putting uh, command centres in place and increasing our presence by moving officers onto two shifts. So we've increased our visible presence on the ground. Our specialist resources uh, to deal with public order are in place and it's my intention, should any disorder take place, we will respond to the expectations of our community and very quickly and robustly deal with it. Within Greater Manchester we've got an excellent relationship and long-standing relationship with our communities and our agencies that we work very closely with. Uh, that will be the really primary tool we use to prevent disorder escalating within Greater Manchester. We also have the capability to respond particularly robustly to any incidents should they occur and that's exactly what we'll do. And our planning is, is the best that there is really, quite frankly, in dealing with this kind of major issue. Uh, and I can really reassure our communities and colleagues in the force that should incidents take place, we will respond to meet the community's expectations and police them with them robustly. Absolutely it is. We, we asked, had an approach from colleagues in the Metropolitan Police last night to provide support. It's like any colleague on the ground showing assistance over the radio. We always respond and support our colleagues nationally. Uh, we sent a single police support unit, which is around 25 staff last night, and we followed that up this morning by further officers. Uh, but we'll be cycling those officers back into Manchester to make sure they get the proper rest and the proper welfare support they need, because it is a challenge and they are demonstrating particular courage in dealing with these threats. I would really encourage people to stay off the streets tonight and in the coming evenings uh, where there could be potential disorder. Uh, I'd encourage families particularly to have an understanding of where, the whereabouts of their youngsters and children to make sure they're not engaging or spectating on any potential risk. And because where there is people considering disorder, they will be dealt with robustly and put through the full force of the criminal justice process.